Hi, this is Charlie Dickens reporting here for the BSBC. We're on our way right now to Berkeley, California, to where Paul McCartney is about to make his first of two outdoor concert dates. We're gonna see what some of the people think about all this. My name is Ali. I live in Berkeley. Are you going to the Paul McCartney concert? No. No, do you, do you know who Paul McCartney is? No. Have you ever heard of the Beatles? No. I know that I'm nice and precious. Yes, she's nice and precious, and I must agree with that. Well, it was very nice talking with you. Bye-bye. Bye. What do you think about this fabulous Beatle reunion that's about to take place here in Berkeley at the Coliseum tonight? Once in a lifetime. <laughs> here they are, all the fans. Can you see them all? All going to see Paul. It's a phenomenon. Phenomenon, we're seeing Paul. It's Paul Anna. It's a phenomenon. Where were you when you first heard of Paul? Where was I, Jeff? Jeff? What? Where, where were we? When what? When we first heard about Paul. He used to be a member of the Beatles, yeah. remember that? Yes, I know that. Thank you. Well, you just look right in the camera, see? Oh, there's the police. Hi. Excuse me, do you know where there's the nearest bar? That's what a we're bar. looking for. A bar. I saw some people drinking beer, but it's not really a bar, but it's sort of a restaurant that serves beer. I'm standing right here in front of Paul McCartney's limo, and his limo driver is right behind me. If you take a look, the license plate number is P-U-L. P-A-U-L. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you this week. As it turns out, I might have to um, uh, be working on some other things. They're going to take up a bunch of time, but I still, I still want to go ahead with what I was hoping we could do. I just have to um, kind of prioritize and and, uh, and not leave you hanging. So I'll call you back when I when I know when uh, when we could do this and if you're uh, if you're interested and all that. Hope things are good. It was really nice meeting you again, and uh, and I'll talk to you soon. As soon as I know what the hell is going on. Right.
you been to any of the other Comedy Day celebrations before? Is this going to be on MTV? No, it's going to be on cable. <laughs> is, oh, is that right? I mean, uh, oh, is that right? This is that channel that I always turn off. Yeah, it's all <laughs> Community access. Community access. Uh, it was very nice talking with you. Thank you. My name is Sean. Sean, what are you doing here today? I just got here, but I, I we went fishing. Oh, hi, Mom. Somebody performed a, a wedding ceremony here That's today, right. didn't they? Uh, Rick, uh, Rick Wright of the real, the old uh, familiar Rick and Ruby show got married today to Lisa. They came up from uh, Los Angeles with the friends and family and had an official wedding. I was the official guy to, to do the wedding right there in front of 60,000 close, intimate friends. You see this news clown back here? Another one of these news clowns. I was wondering, That's nice. I wanted to find out how to dress appropriately. For <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, pants. Somewhere in San Jose, there's a Pinto without seat covers. Waka waka. Waka waka waka. I just want to think it's, it's uh, an honor and a privilege. Mine too. <laughs> this is very few times that I... Oh, thank you. No, that's for Carrie Snow. Okay. We should do this for every interview. People make up like it would be wonderful. In, in Gross Point, uh, did you uh, ring doorbells or, or toilet paper at the Ford Mansion? No, damn it. We actually used to like put silk, <laughs> silk drapes Don't over people. Don't. Come with us now. Play with him. Come. Star of a new movie, Avalon. <laughs> Look at the face. He's only in it for two minutes. But please, <laughs> take over. Take over. This is Kevin Pollock, ladies and gentlemen. What does that face mean to you? I mean, Have you ever worked for the clown before besides Barry? Incredible. It's David Souter. Incredible Supreme Court nominee. Yes, yeah, so you, you saw we go. He was driving truck. Now Supreme Court Justice. That's right, a BS Broadcasting exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 